much. Tonight, there's a special production of Les Miserables, which is taking, uh, having its premiere in Batley in West Yorkshire. It was the favourite musical of the murdered MP, Jo Cox, and it's actually being performed in her honour by school children from our old constituency. With a six-figure budget and a team of experienced West End professionals behind the scenes, this is no ordinary piece of the youth theatre. Our entertainment correspondent, Colin Patterson, was at one of the final rehearsals. It's the West End in West Yorkshire. Right. Six, so All to honour the late MP, Joe Cox. What you can do for me, guys, is give me that energy, yeah? Give me it in the eyes. Give me... The West End director, Nick Evans, came up with the idea of putting on a show using children from Joe Cox's constituency. I wanted to show the people of Batley and Spen and the wider communities around there that people right across the UK, and in particular the West End community, cared about what happened. So I dreamed up this project to do Les Miserables in uh, a warehouse in Batley and Spen, in the town Jo Cox grew up in, in the town she represented, and using the young people of West Yorkshire to tell that story and, and provide a narrative of hope. Let's go, 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 go. And the idea is that although it's youth theatre... We've gone yeah. up to there, the table's gone off. ...everything is to be of a West End standard. I'll take my mom's. The set's amazing, and obviously we've got, like, West End directors and musical directors working on it, so you're working with these really professional, experienced people, and even the costumes were, like, worn by the West End actors and stuff, so, like, trying on my cassette dress was, like, insane, because I was like, this has been worn on, like, a professional stage. On the night, I'll be queuing every department in the show, lights, sound, props, and as soon as I say it, they can do it. We can't do it until I say it. That's quite a lot of responsibility for a 15-year-old. Yeah, but I'm with the West End professional, so if I do get nervous or mess up, they can take over, which is good. Joe Cox was a big fan of musicals. The late MP's seat was taken over by Coronation Street actress Tracy Braben, who says Les Mis was the perfect choice. I spoke to Brendan, Joe's husband, and he said that uh, they used to play the musical in the car so the kids know all the words, and it was her favourite musical. And, you know, it's about passion, it's about being a comrade, it's about politics and about working together, having a vision. I think she'd, I think she'd find it, you know, very powerful. And many of the cast had met her. How much did you know about Jo Cox? I knew Jo quite a lot. She would um, come and visit our school quite frequently as well. I met Jo about five, six times myself, and she was a lovely lady. She was really passionate. This is such a great inspiration to do for her in honour of her as well. This Les Mis is on until Saturday, but it's hoped the new youth theatre will continue and provide a lasting legacy for a much-loved MP. Colin Patterson, BBC News, Batley. Lots of hard work gone into that, I'm sure. It's just a great musical. Mm.